Hello everyone! How do you think? What is the behavioral pattern of successful people? Today, I'm going to delve into the ways of thinking that can be quite advantageous for well-functioning in our society. This is a subject that has been discussed in various business books. Successful people around me who are doing great at their jobs or in any other personal field follow this pattern of behavior regularly. Do you know what it's all about? Well, that's about doing things immediately. That means to become an immediate doer. I mean, when you have an idea, you better take action right away, even if there are some uncertainties. If you do it without hesitation, you will be able to change your maneuvers on the go. I'll explain the mindset of this type of doers and why they tend to succeed. So, join us and find the next step in moving forward rather than just thinking of it. But before jumping right into the topic, come and check our latest video posts on this channel. We are constantly uploading videos that will help your professional career as well as your daily life. Here you'll find tips on how to grow and develop yourself in terms of communication, life management, financial management, career plan, and many other aspects. That being said, let's move to our subject. Many people are prone to think negatively about those who do things spontaneously. Often their image is labeled as irrational and impulsive. And more often than that, people believe that if they think carefully before making a move, they will have a higher chance of success. However, we consider that this is a misconception. The former case, as an immediate doer, will feel rushed from the start. But once you've started to act, there will be a lot more thinking involved. In the later case, we believe that the probability of success is increased if you do it right away, because the quality of the material is much higher than if you just think it through. Let me explain this in detail. As mentioned earlier, an action accelerates your thinking processes. The reason is that after taking that first step, you experience a feeling like coming up to a brick wall. If you are very lucky or if the action you are taking is not too difficult, you may not be in such a situation. But if you are aiming for a higher goal, it's unlikely that things will go smoothly or that you'll get an output as you expected. You may judge, well, that's not good enough. But you'd be completely wrong, because hitting a brick wall is already a sign to start thinking. You begin by analyzing why it didn't work, whether you admitted any mistakes in the assumptions you made, and how you can overcome this barrier. Even if people will think of a strategy of how not to fail, they won't be able to prevent all the obstacles 100%. And the reason is obvious. They simply can't anticipate all possible scenarios. Therefore, you can't predict in detail the barriers you are likely to encounter, and as a result, you end up reflecting on it only after you have acted. One disadvantage of a thinker is spending a lot of time reasoning about trivial issues. This can be described as unjustified fear, but when you are taking immediate action, you'll find out that there is no need to worry about it in advance. Those who don't move actively don't see it either, so they just waste their time trying to prepare for it in the first place. That's the same thing when being in a peaceful forest with no wild animals, but preparing for a bear attack, or reading a book on how to fight off lions and think there is a point in doing something that obviously isn't worth doing. Time is limited, that's why you have to try act first and then work on the resolution of the issues. On the other hand, if you say, let's think about it for a while before we start, or let's consider it, it may sound positive, but that is just about putting off taking action and abandoning the idea of thinking about it at the moment. There is a saying, procrastination is the thief of time, and it's true. When you think of something, your motivation is at its peak. If you let it die dormant in your mind, it will become unimportant. Some people say it's because it's not that important anymore, but I believe it becomes irrelevant indeed only after you gave it a try at least. 
only then you can say it's not worth it and just leave it. A trial doesn't require too much time compared to the loss you might incur by not giving it a shot, or at least compared to the opportunity you have had if you had done it, or if you had done it, you would have grown and expanded. For example, if you are like me and you are thinking about starting a YouTube channel, you can buy a cheap camera and microphone and make a video. Don't worry too much at this point about whether you'll be successful or whether you'll waste money on equipment. It's better to have an idea that it will cost you more to kill the idea of doing it. In the process of making the video, you might realize that you need a different microphone or a different camera, and that's the right time when you need to buy the right one. Once you create the video, you might realize that you don't need an expensive microphone or camera. You can't figure out these things unless you move. So you can see that there are many advantages to doing things immediately. But as the saying goes, it's easier said than done. So how do you become an immediate doer? There are two steps you can take. The first step is to get rid of perfectionism and approach the doer mentality. The second step is to build up your own success stories by doing things immediately. Let's take a closer look at each of these two steps. Step number one. Does any of you think you are a perfectionist? Perfectionism can be seen as a positive thing by some people but we think that's a mistake. Yes, perfectionism can be useful in terms of improving the quality of your results, but you should take care of the quality of the output at the end of the phase, not at the entry stage, where perfectionism can be even a distraction in your action. Otherwise, you'll have to learn everything in advance before you can start to take action. This leads to a tremendous delay in terms of the rate of growth, so only by acting we can see clearly what we need to prepare and which items we need to learn. Let go of this perfectionism, at least at the start. Instead, embrace the idea of an immediate start. You don't have to be perfectly prepared at all, but you have to be great at starting. You may be criticized for turning a means into a purpose, but you need to pay attention to this only when you start. Or, once you have started, you will see so many issues that you'll have little idea of what you need to think at the entry phase. Step number two. This is a medium to long-term commitment compared to previous step, but it has many benefits. You will feel the effect when you'll start doing it. The more you practice it, the more your brain will tell you that you should do it immediately. This creates a virtuous circle where your mind naturally encourages you to do things immediately, which in turn creates small successes. If you don't do it right away, you will lose money and time. It's not easy to change your mindset, but the benefits will motivate you to take action. Now, let's take a look back on today's topic. Firstly. There is a huge difference in the number of opportunities for growth and success between those who do it immediately and those who don't. So, it's best to approach the do-it-immediately behavior style as soon as possible. Secondly, the criticism to do it now, expressed in a train of thoughts such as why you don't think first before taking an action or you are more likely to succeed if you think before taking an action can be proven to be misleading if you'd look mindfully at the correlation between doing something properly and the success rate that will follow along. Finally, there are two steps to becoming an immediate doer. First, you need to abandon perfectionism and change your mindset to an immediate doer mentality and then you need to build up a series of small success stories. There is a big gap between what you understand in your head and what you do. If you are convinced by the content of this video, I recommend that you start training yourself to change your way of thinking tomorrow, or better, right now, so that you can get closer to a do-it-now person. This concludes our explanation about what is the behavioral pattern of successful people? Thank you for hanging around until this moment. Let us know if this video was helpful and don't miss the like and subscribe buttons if you liked the topic. See you in the next video.